We are live. What's up, everybody? Happy Friday. Week is over. Let the fun begin. The topic for tonight is the best trading strategies. So let's talk about what are the best trading strategies. So now off the bat, you're going to be like, wait a second. What? Doesn't everybody have a different strategy? Exactly. This is a trick caption, you could say, because what is the best trading strategy might not work for you, but it might work well for me and vice versa. For example, let's just start off the bat. Swing trading. I am not a fan of it, nor can I mentally and physically deal with sleeping at night knowing that the market's closed. I can't get out of my, my position out of it if something goes sideways. My, for me personally, it's not worth it. That's just one factor. Another factor of why swing trading stocks is not for me, the amount of money I make scalp trading far supersedes what I would make swing trading. So it makes absolutely zero sense sometimes for me. But now here's the thing. I will do a speculative stock any day of the week. If I find one where the risk to reward is massive, where the reward of course is more than the risk, then I'll take that. But when it comes to conventional swing trades, again, it doesn't make sense. If you guys, again, my Instagram close friends, my mentorship students, they see what I post privately, so they know what I make. So it doesn't make sense for me to do it. Maybe that doesn't work for you. Maybe for you, scalp trading isn't for you. You can't handle the pressure of the one minute, five minutes. You're like in there and the, the trade is overwhelming you mentally. And you're like, what am I getting myself into? Maybe that's not for you. So we're going to talk about all that tonight. So welcome to the show. So off the bat, you guys already know. Remember, I, I have to start doing this every live now, unfortunately. It is what it is. Because um, scammers have taken over every platform with my face plastered everywhere. It comes with the territory. So off the bat, I will never message you on Facebook, TikTok, Instagram, Twitter, Telegram, WhatsApp. Anytime you get a message from me, it is not me. I promise you. It is not me. So please stop sending your hard earned Bitcoin to these scammers. I don't want it, nor will I ever message you. So boom, my socials are right under my banner right here. Off the bat, that's it. You, again, you will never get a message from me. You can't even message me on some of the platforms. I've blocked that from happening. So there you go. All right, now let's get into the lesson. Welcome everybody. What's up, Eddie, uh, Luke, Haitian, Sal, What's up, Sergio, Daniel, Hutton? What's up, guys? So I appreciate you joining me on a Friday. So let's get the show started. So off the bat, one thing to understand before I go into anything is your mindset. That is the first thing to understand about you. Can you handle, like I said earlier, lack of sleep, meaning... Are you the type, if you're in your position, your options position, whatever it is, it's in, let's say, Tesla. Can you sleep at night knowing you have a position open? Or maybe you swung trade a scalp you shouldn't swung trade. Maybe you did that. And your position is down 20. Or you're up. 80%. Can you go to sleep knowing that? I'll give you a perfect story. Yesterday was my sister's birthday. I, I was forced to go to a barbecue party. So you might like forced. I love my siblings. I love my family, but I am not a, as you call it, a family man. I prefer to work, create content, trade the market, read books. That's what I do. I, I It is what it is about me personally. But I went and Point being, at the family, my uncle showed up, everybody. And I already told you this story. I've been talking about Pelantir, PLTR, since the beginning of its IPO. I absolutely love Peter Thiel and what they're doing. So that's not the point. At the dinner table, everyone brings it up because I'm the guy. <laughs> I'm him, right? I'm at the dinner table. There's a hibachi guy doing hibachi things in my sister's backyard. And everyone's like, so Pelantir... And my uncles, my whole family got in. I forced them to get in, in the sixes. And if you don't know, it hit $17. So boom. And my uncle sold. My father sold. My cousins were all there. I'm the, I'm the richest cousin, the richest grandson, praise God. 
And my cousins are like, but it, it could go higher. I haven't checked it. I said, you haven't checked it. It's up over $11 since your entry, six something cents. It's up 11 something. Yesterday was at like 15, I think. I'm like, sell it the second 9.30 kid. That's enough. You've ridden the wave long enough. Get out of the position. So why did I tell you this story? My cousin's personality, they're females, by the way. They were all females. My cousins, by the way, are comfortable. They could go to sleep. They could live their jobs, their lives, all of it. And not worry about their positions, how green it is, red it is. It's irrelevant to them. That's them. That's their mindset. So they could function because they were up big. My, every single one of the family at the dinner table was up big on Palantir because I pushed it hard. If there's one thing I pushed in family dinners is Palantir, Ethereum, Matic, um, FTM. There's certain things I push and do I push hard on them. So they were up big. But it was irrelevant to them. They could again. They were functioning perfectly fine as PLTR went from six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen. It was like nothing to them. Now me, on the other hand, again, tell me in the comments what your personality is. Tell me what your personality is in the comment section. So I'll tell you that because if you can, you be so. Answer this: Can you be positive eighty percent and have a good night's sleep? Or can you be down negative 20% and have a good night's sleep? Tell me that in the comment section. So back to the point, for me, to be in a position, to, to, let's say 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, whatever thousand dollars. My uncle had a big position in, like he banked on that one. He was very happy. Here's the thing. For him, it was fine. It was not a problem for him. He was just buying more and more and loading up because he trusts me. He knows what I do. He knows how much I make. So he trusts my decision. So he was fine. But he functioned like it was no tomorrow. And when I told everybody to sell, they sold like it was nothing. And you know what the next thing they said to me is? Which the next one should I buy right now? I'm like, all right, calm down. Calm down. By the way, Sal, what did I tell you about Matic? Last week you asked me, should I buy Matic? I said, hold off on it and look where Matic went. Right back to the 70s, the low 70s that I always say is an outstanding buy number, buy price for Matic. But that's a separate conversation, not right now. So if you're comfortable with this, let me know. Like, like look at the, some of the comments. You got to live on the S sometimes. Oh my God, yesterday was my birthday too. In S. Who are you from Instagram? Are you? I'm assuming you're from Instagram. I've never seen you before, Ines. Uh, professor, you said they are all females. Yeah, my, majority of my cousins are females. Yeah. I love this man. Appreciate you, Sal. Neither I want to get out. Boom. No matter how red or green I am, I can sleep at night. Oh, so that's your personality because I only risk when I can lose. Boom. Trading is usually fun. I don't usually mind. I usually don't mind either I am up or down. What matters is that I follow my boom. Genius. Don't worry. I bought some in the 0.75s. Good man. Load up. What a price point. Load up. All right, back to this now. More of you. I got 68 people watching. There's only like three, four people commenting. Get it done. Get it done. Answer my questions. Hello, interact with me. This is the one time you get to interact with me. So now, so it depends on you. So like Sal said, it doesn't matter because I like what Sal said. Where did it go? Uh, no matter how red or green I am, I can sleep at night because I only risk when I can lose. So for him, he's comfortable. So for him... I could write neater than that. Let me write the strategies in a different color. We'll do baby blue. So for Sal, swing trading. What is swing trading? Open position can't fit it in here. For days, weeks, months. That's you. If that's your personality, God bless you. Go for it. It ain't for me. And again, remember, the other factor is I make more money scalp trading than I would swing trading with less risk involved. What do I mean by that? Meaning anything can happen overnight. Anything could happen 4 a.m. for me. So, I, so now we were talking about Matic with Sal, right? This is the thing with me. You need to understand the different. Let me let me change the color. So there's a mindset mindset shift here. 
So you got stocks, you got crypto. So again, me personally, again, I'll use myself as an example to talk freely with you. With me, stocks, here's the problem. You cannot sell them at midnight, 9 p.m. Eastern Standard, 1, 2, 3 in the morning. You just cannot, if something horrific happens, news goes wrong. This war with Ukraine and Russia just keeps getting worse and worse. Somebody blew up somebody's dam. That's a whole other problem. Massive flooding and destruct environmental issues. You get what I'm saying? Now, here's the thing. I can swing trade crypto all day and it doesn't affect me. For example, Matic on the Polygon network. I absolutely love this cryptocurrency. I can swing it, no stress. I could sleep perfectly at night, no stress, no worries. As long, now here's the thing you need to understand. It goes back to the mindset. If I buy in at key levels, I'm comfortable. For example, again, you have to understand what date it is. So let me say the date so people understand. It is June 9th, 2023. And as I just told Sal last week, no, sorry, on Tuesday, Sal asked me, should we buy Matic? I said, nope, hold on. Because I, I didn't like where it was. I believe it was in the 80 something cents and it looked like Bitcoin's on a downtrend and Bitcoin fell because of what's happening with all the regulations with Binance and Coinbase. And it did fall. Praise God, technical analysis over the news any day of the week. But I can happily buy Matic in the low 70s, 71, 72, 73, 74, 75, 76. I could put in a swing 20 to $50,000 swing trade on Matic in that range. Because if you study the chart of Matic, I'm not doing that now, just go back and watch my lives. Uh, go to the top three crypto coins. I did a whole live on my top three crypto coins. But I will happily buy Matic, go to sleep at night, go on vacation, not worry about anything. Separate portfolios, number one. Number two, I can pull out my money at any time. That's one thing I like. The weekends, if something goes wrong, I could pull it out. It's that simple. This is me personally. Matic. So remember, if you didn't know this, 24-7. The cryptocurrency market is 24-7. So boom on that one. With me for stocks, again, like I said earlier, I personally cannot swing trade it because I won't be able to go to sleep at night no matter how much of a position I put in. I'll give you one quick story and then I'll go into the comments because I love the comments. Now we're talking. Keep flooding me with comments, folks. I'll read them. I'll read them. I promise. I'll go back and I'll read them. So for me, I'll give you a story. So this was, this was a couple of months ago. It, I took a short, a swing short, on Riot or Mara, I'm trying to, I always mix up the two, but it was a cryptocurrency because crypto got pumped. I was waiting for the fall. So in the scalp, my close friends know, I posted on close friends, the PNL, all of it. The scalp, the short scalp altogether when I took it, I was up a good amount. I'm not gonna say the dollar amount, I'm just, it doesn't even matter what the amount was, it's irrelevant. But I was up a nice little amount and I swung it. it was, the point was to swing it because Bitcoin was coming down. Remember, if you don't know this, whatever crypto Bitcoin does, Bitcoin goes down, the crypto altcoins go down, and crypto stocks also go down. So I took it off the technicals. I was up a nice amount. I, it's actually a video on IG about this too. The worst sleep of all time. Had my breakfast, I couldn't eat it properly. Couldn't focus all morning. Um, nothing was in my mind. I was, I was pray, I pray. I pray and I was praying, I couldn't pray. I was focused on the portfolio. FYI, I was up, not 80%. I don't know how much I was up, but I was green. I was green the whole night. So now when the market opens, I got out the trade. I made this much on my scalp of the short, but the close before the close of the day, I was up this much. I'm not saying the dollar amount, but when I took my profits, it was like this much. Because of all the fluctuation in pre-market and you couldn't control it, I try to do limit sells, limit buys during pre-market, but it doesn't always work out, unfortunately. That's the problem with pre after hours and pre-market. So that's the thing you need to understand. That's my personality. For you, as we go deeper into this lesson, you have to understand what relates to you. You might be doing a strategy where you're overwhelmed stressed out, your blood pressure goes up, you can't think straight, you're yelling at your kids, you're yelling at your spouse, you're just going off on family members and you don't even know why. And it might be because the strategy that you're doing doesn't correlate with you. That's me. 
That's what you need to understand. You will not get to a point of being consistent. That's why the title of the book is consistent, by the way, which is a daily battle. I took three trades today, shorting this garbage penny stock. Same, same ticker three times. Got in, made some money, praise God. Got out because it started going sideways and it shot up. It hit the top of the trend line, hit the top of the resistance, got overextended, shorted it back down. Trade number two. Came down, went sideways. Rocket shipped again, hit the trend line. The resistance again, tried the third time. Got into the short. Fell down, stopped, going, started going sideways. I got out of the trade, I was done. And then it collapsed way further. I could have waited a lot more. So for the next, because I was running around doing a million errands today. My chauffeur drove me everywhere, so it, it was more comforting. But when I saw it fall, and I'm being straight here, I'm going to always be telling you the truth. I can't ever lie and stay, say, trading is amazing. Uh, even at this level in my life, I have no stress. The whole time my mind said, number one, I never wanted to sell. I had to sell. When it starts going sideways, it goes again. It starts doing something that I don't want it to do, I get out. But the other factor is, I was thinking about it for most of the day. Damn. It fell so much more. I could have made X, X, X amount more. That feeling never, ever goes away. Never, ever goes away. This battle, that's why the book is called How to Be a Consistent Trader. It's in gold, glimmering gold. Is for because it's a daily battle. There's not one day that goes by I don't battle that consistency. Now here's the thing. For not one second did I want to swing trade this. You'll be like, wait, Professor, it's a garbage penny stock. Why not? It collapses, doesn't it? Majority of penny stocks collapse. Yeah, but then a pump can happen out of left field, and that's not my strategy. I will not be able to have a restful night, peaceful. I have a million things I do throughout my day. I have an army of people that work for me. They have to handle things for me. I'm not dealing with it. That shift in my mindset. Because I swung trade a scalp trade just for a little bit more money. The end of the conversation really is, is it ever enough? Let me tell you something right now. It will never get to a point where it's enough. There's levels to this game. There's levels to life. You, For those of you that are consistently hitting $200 a day, God bless. Those that are hitting $1,000 a day, God bless on you too. And you're constantly, I'm sure, saying to yourself, a little bit more wouldn't hurt. I could take a little bit more. For those hitting five, seven thousand, ten thousand dollars $7,000, $10,000 days, you'll pro I'm sure you're saying the same thing. A little. No amount of money will ever satisfy your need for more. It's written in the Quran, the Bible. It says it. Give man one valley of gold, he'll want a second valley of gold. So first... Understand what your mindset is around that subject. So for me, oh, I said I was going to write it in blue. I was going to write the strategies in blue. So for me, scalp trading, where in a trade for seconds, minutes that's it why because my mindset can handle that i am perfectly comfortable sitting in a trade in the trade support resistance overextended vwap overextended 200 i can perfectly do that from the buy uh sell zone to the buy zone simple to the point and go live my day throughout the day because i'm leaving the country in two weeks and I'll be out for three months. So it's just been a run, 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 and just getting ready. And I don't have time to think about other things. Make my money, execute, and move on in my day. That's what I can handle. And that's what I stick to. You have to come to the conclusion of what you are willing to handle. There are some people that do futures. So let's do talk about that one. The next one is futures. That is, you got the weekends. You got, what a horrible S. You got late night when it's open at night. There, and it's similar to crypto. There goes your weekends. If you want to become a straight crypto futures traders, I know a lot of people would say, well, just get away from the computer. Shut it down walk away. It's not as easy said than done.
Let's just be straight here. There is always going to be an infinite amount of opportunities the market provides when it comes to the futures and crypto market. You're just going to constantly, yes, man, yes, let's go. It, it won't stop. First, understand what kind of person are you? How's your mood? How, are you, how do you get agitated when you're in the trade, what you're doing? Because if it's causing agitation, even when you're in the green or even when you're in the red, there should be no level of agitation. It should be, that's the trade. This is my job. I have to do it. I'll give you an example. I was talking to one of my students and he was telling me, well, he told his dad, his, me, and his, me and his dad are close. And his dad was telling me, he's like, my, you know, my son is driving me crazy. He's like, my job is, not, his job is boring. So I, I saw him and I spoke to him and I said, your nine to five is boring, right? He's like, yeah. He's like, Trading is boring, right? He's like, yeah, trading gets, by the way, trading is boring. I consider it as super boring. He's like, well, vacations are not boring. I said, let me tell you something. Go on a vacation for two months. Go on a vacation for three months and then come back and tell me if it's boring or not. At the end of the day, everything you do eventually becomes boring. It's how you view things. I'm filling up an entire suitcase. I just bought like 10 books from Amazon. I'm filling up a whole suitcase with books. Throw me anywhere on earth. But as long as I got a book next to me, I am fine. Boredom, you can find boredom in anything. People are right now in their 10, 20, 15, one year marriages, bored out of their minds, looking for something else. That's why cheating is off the charts, affairs are off the charts, divorces are off the charts. Everyone's just bored of everything. They want instant gratification, instant all of it. And I don't blame some of you. Because scalping for me is instant gratification. I don't know how everybody and their mother is not getting involved in scalping. Because who doesn't want to get paid every day? Who doesn't want to get paid in one hour, less than an hour, Monday to Friday? Like, that's just me. That's why I'm here. That's why the course is free. Click down below. That's why I, I come here Tuesday and Fridays constantly to push this, to be your biggest supporter and cheerleaders into this. But you won't be able to get to that level unless you understand what kind of person you are. So in the comment section, let me read some comments. Tell me what kind of trader do you think you are and why? Connect it back to your mindset. Fill up the comments. Let's go. I better see a lot of comments. A lot of you are watchers. Stop being watchers and take action already. Doesn't matter what you're going to say. This is my show. Comment. If someone says something you don't like, I'll block them. I'll block them for you. There shouldn't be any negativity here. All right. So let me read some of the comments. Oh my God. Damn, I missed out a lot of comments here. All right, here we go. Here we go. I learned scalping is my thing after I held a couple of lows of AMC trade a couple years ago. I have respect for anyone who can hold anything overnight. I agree. I agree, Jake. I'd rather learn to do what you do for sure. The heart would thank me. Boom. Kareem. What's up, Kareem? Peace, professor. I'm currently working on my personality with focus on mind and emotion priority. I will not trade until that's in... Good man, Kareem. You came to the New York mentorship. Hopefully, I'll see you in September because you can come for free because you paid once. So, I hopefully, I see you again. It's always good seeing my own name next right there because we got the same name, Malik. It's always good seeing that. Hey, Professor uh, Al here. Started following you about two weeks ago. Enjoy your videos. Very instructional, informative. Thank you, Brock. Thank you, Al. Oh, I lost the comments. Malik Scalp is king. Yep. Um, got your book four weeks ago. Love it. Thank you, Styles. Appreciate you. I'm not a fan of pre and post market at all orders. Yep, I know, me too. My wife asked me why am I I've been so aggressive lately, not in a bad mood, just venting my frustration. I was like, damn options. Then Sal, that should tell you options is not for you, baby boy. If your own wife, your spouse, the mother of your child is telling you, think about it. Scalping doesn't make me get angry, I can tell you that. The way I do it anyway. So I got a Tesla at 220 after riding it from 160 on shares. It went to 250 plus. The old me would be mad, not the new me. Thanks to you. Can't go broke. My man, Sal. My man. Hey, Michelle. What's up? Um, learning that more and more with experience. Boom. Boom, boom. Uh, what book, Professor Silk Road, is top notch? We need a book list. Matt, I'm going to post the books um, in two weeks. But when I fly out, I'm flying out in two weeks. I, I know people are going to, before people even ask me, I will make a store. I'll get active on IG. I'm active in my secret Instagram, the close friends. I will get, soup. I will be back active in two weeks. I'm just taking a break off of IG fully. So I will post more. I will post my whole trip. I'll get back to normal professor routine, June 27th. But yes, I will post all the books. I think I'm taking about 12 books with me. So I'll, I'll post them all, of course. Silk Roads is top notch. I absolutely love Silk Roads. Good morning from Turkey, 4 a.m. here. What's up, Gigi? Gigi, I'll see you in July. 
I'll be in Turkey in July. Um, dinner's on me. Your husband. I'll pay for your husband and you. Dinner on me, Gigi. So I'll see you in July. I'll be there. Um, I'll talk. I think I told you the date in DMs. Hey, hello. First time here. I'm from Puerto Rico. I want to learn. What's up, Carlos? Carlos, uh, click down below. Start with my free course, and then when you do well on that, jump to my book, um, the hardcover. Don't get the digital, and then I'll see you in New York, Carlos. Um, style scalp trader all day, Matt. Hey, Matt, what's up, baby boy? The the CPA is in the building. I've actually gravitated towards short day trades with options on only Spark UQ. Makes me feel better uh, putting up like there. You go. I love it. I love it. Um, I won't sleep. I think about it all night. I always want more. I know. Um, Amelda. Amelda. Am Amilda. I'm just going to say Salazar. Salazar, I agree. So we got the same personality. Scalp trading, obviously there. Thank you. You're welcome, Kareem. I love the adrenaline from scalp trading. <laughs> uh, Del Sol, I don't have that anymore, but it does get fun when it's super over. So I short trade. So I, it does get super fun when it's like beyond over. When it goes from like 60 cents to like $6, I'm not going to lie. It is fun. It is fun. Uh, Matt, I've got a Lira account at that camp. Uh, be day traded in a cash account and I'm learning scalping. It's hard to leave money on the table. After I know Victor, I like money fast. So I'm a scalper hundred percent. Ahmed. What's up Ahmed? What's up professor? Are we still on for today? Still on for today. Well, what's going on today? Ahmed? Are we still on for today? Ahmed, what are you talking about? <laughs> Friday? I don't know what Ahmed's talking about. Just finished your book. Definitely scout trader. Saving up for your mentorship. Let's go, Stephen Ryan. I'll see you in class. There's only two left of the month of the year. September when I come back from my world travels. Matt, awesome. Thanks for the list. You're welcome. Um, Salazar, I'm a scalper. Scalping because that's what I have learned from you and I'll never do anything that goes against your advice. I appreciate you, Navarro. Thank you. Navarro, you're coming. I, my memory states, you. I'll see you in the mentorship. You already signed up. I, your name is familiar, Navarro. Yep. My mentor. Thank you, Navarro. Appreciate the trust. Hey, professor, I work seven to five. Should I swing trade or what's your best advice? Uh, Carmona, if you have one hour in your day, and I'm going to be straight with you, if you have one hour in your day in the middle of the day and you want to learn the one of the, my favorite things I've been doing now for the longest, shorting penny stocks. First, you start off small, of course. I'll get you there eventually. But if you have it, for those of you that work nine to fives, if you could just have one hour, because usually the, in the midday, penny stocks usually collapse midday after the pump in the morning. So as long as you have one hour in your day, you can make it happen. So there you go, Carmona. Um, Ines, scalp trading, I can't function my day today knowing that I have, uh, Ines, I'm the same way, girl. I'm the, I cannot function at all, at all. I, let me tell you, like I told that story about the Mara swing trade, the short I put in. To this day, I vividly think about how horrific my sleep. I, I've been sleeping very nicely. I pray. When I pray, I talk to God. I'm deep in the conversation with him. I'm connected with him. But that time, it was all I thought about was that Mara swing. Even though I was green, I'm checking. I'm, I'm in the prayer. I'm praying. I'm doing my thing as a Muslim. And in the back, not in the back of my mind, forefront, I got to check my portfolio. I got to grab that portfolio. Literally, like a drug fiend. Portfolio. The portfolio. Is it up? How much percentage? Portfolio. The whole time. The whole time. And as time progresses, I know one thing about myself is I ain't a swing trader. I ain't a swing trader. A book recommendation, um, okay, battle, okay. I only play one contract and it's such adrenaline rush. Damn, patience, but I don't hit sell. Javier, I'll see you at the mentorship. That's what I do. That's what I do. I teach you how to hit sell because all I know how to do is hit sell. I'm telling you right now, as much as I appreciate all of you and I know a lot of you look up to me and I know a lot, I, I, a lot of you call me your mentor, I am no special being. I'm telling you straight, there is no, you can't say, but professor, you've been teaching economics for a decade. No, 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 Listen to me. People with degrees, I have two of them, are some of the worst humans because they are the most arrogant. I'm telling you right now, intellectuals, I've been called that, I guess you can call me that, but I don't, you know, it is what it is, are some of the worst people because they think they know it all. 
And when you think you know it all, good luck. The market will slap you around real quick. So I'm telling you, the only thing I know how to do is hit sell. That's it. Like I, I just came out of, because uh, New York's air is good again. I just came out of the oxygen chamber and I was doing cryo. And let me tell you something, it ain't comfortable. And I installed a steam room in my house. I'm going to go do that after this live ends. And let me tell you something, sitting in 120 degrees steam for like 20, 30 minutes ain't easy. It never gets easy, but you do it anyway. You got to make yourself uncomfortable. So boom. All right, let's keep going. Uh, damn, I like, finally, people are actively in the questions. Uh, professor, I think I like shorting better. Uh, still need to get better at it. I, LA, I love it. I love it. Well, LA, first of all, LA, I appreciate you. LA was in Puerto Rico. She came to the mentorship virtual. Boom, man, she's bringing her friend. Nothing feels better when you bring a friend with you to the mentorship, LA. So I'll see you again soon. Boom. Uh, Gigi, thank you for looking forward to see you. My husband says hi, but he won't catch us. He will be out of town. Got it, Gigi. Okay, done. Gigi, get me some good Turkish restaurants, spicy Turkish restaurants, dessert, like baklava. Find me the good stuff, please. Like, um, I'm coming for my birthday, so I want to have, like, the best of the best. And the bill's on me. I want the fanciest. I don't care. It could be the most. I'll take care of it. So I guess if your husband's not coming, me and you, get me the best of the best, Gigi. Get that ready for me. I want literally like A1 for my birthday. I want to I wanna enjoy good food. Yes, Professor, September can't wait. Yes, I knew it, Navarro. Photographic memory. Hey, Professor, can you suggest me a platform like Weeble? Um, Peter, trade zero, baby boy. I love trade zero. Damn it, I lost the questions again. Sacre bleu. Exactly uh, why I can't hold overnight. I won't be able to focus. Exactly, Michelle. So we have the same personality. It's true that Spike can predict a few. Is is true that Spike can predict a few seconds in advance what is going to happen with course ticket as TQQ. No. Um. So, if you want to look at what's going to happen with the TQQQ, Sergio, you want to look at the QQQ. Boom. What is the settled cash and buying power? Big boy, you can Google that. Come on, don't ask me Googleable questions. You guys should know that. If it's Googleable. Google it. Don't ask me. It's a waste of my time. Um, here comes the audiobook voice. I'm definitely going to your mentorship class. Carmona, I'll see you soon. Professor, it's so great. Thank you. We all need to just rewire our brains close to proven techniques unless exactly wise them. Done with crypto for now. Democrats and SEC want to push away. Listen, Nick, if you've been following me for two years, I've done videos begging y'all to get off the brokers, get off all of that stuff and put it into a cold storage. I don't have it here anywhere next to me, but I've been begging y'all to do it. There's plenty of videos on my IG and YouTube spanning over two years of time telling all of you, please, they're gonna shut it down in America. You will not, excuse me, get your crypto out. Put it in a cold wallet. Um, so boom. Don't sell yourself short. You're amazing. Thank you, Sal. No, but I'm just being honest, though. You, you sh I always tell my students this. I said at the last mentorship, don't ever put anyone on a pedestal, including me. I am, I'm just telling you. Once you do that, you make yourself inferior and you, make, you doubt yourself. Don't do that. We're all equals. Everything I'm teaching you, I teach you. I wrote the book on it. People fly to my classes to complete their journey. Then you get access to me where you can actually message me on the secret IG. So the point is, I'm trying to tell you everything I know, I'm teaching it. And then I also show you how I also struggle to hit sell, but I do hit sell because I do have a lot of bills. <laughs> I do have a lot of projects that I need to pay for. So I do need the money. I tell you, no nine to five can support my lifestyle. I'm just going to be honest. No regular job can support my lifestyle. It's just getting more expensive as the months go on. Um, you wanted you wanted Ryan, Paul, and I on the live. Oh, Ahmed, I got you. Ahmed, I changed that. That was supposed to be tonight, but Ryan said he was traveling and he couldn't do it properly. So do me a favor, Ahmed. Check in with Paul and Ryan and you. Let's do next Friday. Let's do, guys, we're going to do a live next Friday. I'm going to bring on two brand new traders, Ryan and Paul who've never traded before, took the mentorship, and are killing it now. They're new. I'm their one and only mentor. I'm the only ones that taught them. And then Ahmed, who's been doing this for a couple of years now, who's been struggling because he's been corrupted by outside forces. Tell me in the comments if you would love a live like that, of us all four together, and you hear different perspectives to see how to make you a better trader. Boom.
So thank you for reminding me, man. But that's next week. Let me know if they're down. TD Ameritrade has on-demand trading where we can back trade the market. Is there anything similar? We can back trade the market, back test. Yeah, baby boy. Um, there's a video in my book that shows you how to do that with trading view. Would this be saved? I missed it. Yes, Eric, it'll be saved. Professor, since you're mostly shorting penny stocks when you trade, are you going to teach more of that in depth during the mentorship class? No. Um, I'm going to teach that all Puerto Rico 2024. By the way, for those that don't know, uh, Puerto, the Puerto Rico mentorship students, the Puerto Rico 2024 dates have been posted. The sign-up form is active. It's only for mentorship. You can't pay for it. It's free. Well, it's not free, but you have to pay for the activities or if you want to live in the mansion. But we will be live trading penny stocks all week during that week. And also, mentorship students, please go to the secret Instagram. Click on the... Um, highlights and go fill out the form i am giving away one free uh, mentorship student who gets to live in the mansion and i pay for your man well you live don't live with me you live in the mansion but like a bedroom away from me and i will pay for all your events for free so please go to the secret instagram if you fill that if you're booked the mentorship do it quick because i will be releasing that i will be doing the entry at the end of the month so boom 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 i think july some the first week of july Um, where do we go? Where we go? Where we go? Professor, I bought your book a month ago and I'm doing everything it says, but I'm not consistent yet. Well, uh, Del Sol, tell me, tell me what's going on. Tell me what your issue is. That's why I always say free course book and then fly to New York to complete the journey. Cause you need someone you, I'm sure and watch this. I bet you have lots and lots of questions that you want answered. That's where the mentorship comes to play, where you have direct access to me. If you notice, no one can message me on IG. But I have a secret IG where my students can reach me directly. Boom. What's the difference between settled cash and buying? Hey, Shin, you can Google these things, man. I'm not answering these simple questions. These are Googleable questions. I got you, Professor. Hoping to get more of my good friends into training. Yes, LA. You know, LA, that tells me I know I did a good job as your mentor, that you're telling all your friends and you're bringing them. So that means I did my job. By the way, LA, in the business world, that's called the highest level of business, where Word, it's called word of mouth. So that means the world. My wife and sister-in-law just asked me what I was listening to. And I said, the legend, thank you. This guy's the man. I told him that I would show them my portfolio since I started, but they wouldn't understand. Yeah. Uh, did you ever try options, professor? No, Brian. It doesn't make sense to me. I bought the Tangy Tangerine. I must say it's pretty good and it made me feel better. Hey, it's not just about health, Sal. It's not just about, I mean, it's not just about the money, but it's also health. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Yeah. Let's do that live. 100%. 100%. Boom. Where can I scout Matic, Binance, Coinbase, uh, KuCoin? Professor, can I make money in penny stocks, but new and studying your free videos and book too? Yeah, of course you can. Of course. Internet works is slow on my Apple. Get a new computer if it's slow. Yes, would love that live. Got you. Thank you, Matt. I don't know if it's Forex, but from what I see, it's easy to swing trade because sometimes it feels like the market is being manipulated. It's not. You don't feel the market is manipulated. The markets are manipulated. All the markets are. That's what you want. You want the manipulation. Keep that in mind. Don't think it's not. Yes, it is. And that's a good thing. Boom. Professor, is the mentorship only in person? Yes, Frank. I got rid of uh, Zoom virtual completely. Hasta la vista to that. Because I'm going to tell you straight, as I've been teaching for a decade, 10 years in the game of teaching economics, virtual is not the way you learn. Trust my mentorship students that flew to New York, tell them in the comments. Do I have to? Tell them in the comments, for God's sakes. Steven, what's up, Steven? Professor, what's up? I miss Puerto Rico being around everyone so much. Did you ever have days before you found success and purpose where you felt unease and, if, and as if something was missing in your life? Steven, remember the conversations we had on the rooftop? It happens. It happens. So as a, the more money I made in the market, the more separated I felt from reality. The more I got into my own bubble, my bubble started getting bigger and stronger. So it got become more distant. Where, like I said earlier, give me a good book and I'm satisfied. That's just me. For example, you'll see the content when I'm in Morocco. Massive acreage, six bedroom mansion, mountain, the whole nine yards. And it's just me and books. I'll be trading me and books. And I'll, I won't be lonely because that's just me. But yes, it happens. It happens. When is your birthday exact? Uh, Gigi, I can't say my birthday because I can't handle the DMs. I don't want people to know the exact. I'll DM you, Gigi, but just between me and you. 
Uh, I'll tell you what day it is, but I don't want people to know because I won't be able to handle the DMs. You know, sometimes I regret letting the world know that I was Muslim because now when the holiday Eid comes around, my inbox blown up. Happy Eid, happy Eid, happy Eid. Hundreds of them. Hundreds, because I have a lot of Muslim traders that follow me. Hundreds of them. And I can't handle that amount of volume coming in. So, boom. I don't want people to know these things. What makes you set up What makes you set up support and resistance the way you do with clusters as opposed to having the charge zoomed? I can't answer it like that, babe boy. I have Weeble for stock. What should I use for Forex? MT4. Game changer in person. Exactly. Nothing like in person. Thank you, boys. Brian, I use Trade Zero now ever since you said they have the cash stop loss where you can put the same amount. You Hey, Brian, there you go. There you go. My fellow liquidity people here. I don't know if that's a negative comment or a positive comment. I don't know. But I'm going to block them because I don't like that comment. And you're gone. Later, buddy. I don't know. I don't like that comment. It bothered me. In person only 100%. Boom. Where can I see the free course? Froy, click in the description. It says it at the bottom. The website shows up in the banner at the bottom. Go there and click course and you can watch it for free. You don't have to see There's no money. It's free. LOL. Uh, we fly to New York to your birthday. No, we're not doing that. I won't be in the country for my birthday. I'll be out of the country. I work all day and I'm practicing in nights for crypto. Boom. So I, I hopefully I answered all your questions, but let's sum up the lesson right now. The best trading strategy is whatever works for you. So this is really a trick title, a trick um, a title, I guess, a lesson. For some of you, for example, my cousins at dinner yesterday, for them, swing trading is all what it is. For me, I could not swing trade for the stocks for the life of me. Crypto, I could swing trade all day. Not a problem because I can exit it at any time I want, at any free time I want. That's what, what it is. So for me, scalp trading, I'm in, I'm out, and I need the money every day. To tell you the truth, I need the money daily. I cannot, I, God bless for those that wait weeks and months. Like I had someone ask me, Professor, you've been saying, you said you didn't swing Palantir. But you've been talking and how much you love Palantir since the sixes and the seven, eight, nine, ten, and it went all the way to 17. Wouldn't you have made so much more? And I'll leave you with this. I'll leave you with this. If you knew how much I made on a daily basis from scalp trading, yes, I would have made a lot from that trade from six to 17. Come on now. But it would have wrecked emotional havoc on my soul, my mind. I wouldn't have been myself. I would have been checking my portfolio all day. The second I wake up, I would have been distant from everything I do. I probably would have been agitated, moody, on edge, being up that kind of money over that consecutive amount of time. So for me personally, no, it's not worth it. No amount of money is worth me losing sleep. Bro, if your health goes out the window, I'll, I'll leave you with this line and then I'll call it a night. If I gave you $10 million tomorrow, I wired it to every one of you watching right now, 10 million. But I said, tomorrow morning, 4 a.m., you will not wake up. Not a single one of you would accept that transfer. I would wire you all the money and a pop-up would show up. To accept this, fine print, you must accept that you won't wake up. Not one of you would take it. But yet you sacrifice your sleep, your spouse, your relationships, for a little extra money, it's not worth it. That's what I would leave you with on this Friday Night Live. Understand what's more valuable to you, your peace of mind or a little extra money. And if the answer is a little extra money, I don't know how long trading will last for you because I don't think you'll be able to hold down your mindset, your sleep, and your health. So boom. On that note, have a good night, everyone. May peace be upon you all. Study hard over the weekend. Everything you need is down below. Remember, I will never, ever message you. Never. Those are all scammers asking for Bitcoin. Please stop giving random people on the internet your cryptocurrency, for God's sakes. I'll see you guys on Tuesday. We are doing the Portfolio Management Live. Boom, boom, boom. And that's a wrap. Let's go. Oh, by the way, I'm going to jump on. If you have more questions, I'm going to jump on Twitch. Pull up on Twitch. If you need to find the Twitch, just go to my IG, click on the five links, 
and go in there. I'm gonna jump on Twitch and I'll answer my Twitch people's questions. I hang out there for like five, 10 minutes. So if you have questions, pull over there. Pull over there. Let's go. Boom, boom, boom. All right. Let's go to Twitch, baby. Twitch fan.